Welcome back, everyone. It's Abdali here with another exciting episode of Yokai Watch 3 on Nintendo 3DS. We're continuing on our 100% walkthrough, so thanks for watching. Today, we've got a Nate episode. Let's jump on in and see exactly what's going on with Diana Gately and the Gate Globes and everything that we found out in the previous episode. We got a new issue of Fancy That, so let's tell her about it. Anyway, if you guys are excited for today's episode, do me a favor. Let's hit 500 likes on today's so that we can do two episodes. It'd be awesome. I know you guys want it. Let's go. All right. <clears throat> Question of the day is, who's your favorite popularity yokai? Let me know why. On our previous episode, we got an auto befriend of Cupistall, which is great. Not my favorite popularity yokai. Shmoopy, for sure. But anyway, looking forward to reading your comments. Okay. Did you find any mysteries linked to the Gate of Whimsy? Yeah, I did. It was called, Why Was the Pastor Offering Me to Take Medicine? That's the real mystery. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of twisted gate of whimsy was that? Anyway, sure did. Seems like there's a rumor about the din of the den of jinn. And that's a real thing, guys. It's not it's not like a common thing, like ghosts, but no, jinn, dude. Look them up. That's real. Like I believe in that stuff. Sometimes, if you walk alone late at night, you hear music ringing out. And if you follow the music, a strange glow entrance appears. And then before you know it, you're stuck in a room with one-eyed gin. <laughs> and now that's a fancy rumor. I think this glowing entrance is linked to, linked to the Gate of Whimsy. Hmm. I see. Sounds about yes. right. <laughs> I've heard this rumor before, and I knew it was worth investigating. What? <laughs> then why didn't you just investigate this rumor earlier? The rumor I heard didn't include the bit about an entrance. I had nothing to go on, so thank you, Abdallah. Right. right. The rumor seemed true, so let's make this quick. I found about I found out that the rumor came from the fishermen around here. That's information that is bound to help us find clues. Alright. <clears throat> we should get talking to them fishing fellows. Please do. She asked that as if we're not always the ones doing the investigating. Haha. <laughs> That Professor Gately. That's <laughs> Professor Gately. Kill, heal, heal, let's go. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we got a brand new mystery. Let's go figure it out. Oh, no. I'm supposed to... I'm supposed to press yes. Why wouldn't it default to yes? Okay. All right, here we go now. We're going to go to quest. Uh, dinner uh, din mystery. Uh, okay. So now the game's not going to let me do that. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, talk to the fisherman in North Beach. <clears throat> Alright, Gately. I'm on my way. There's a couple fishermen around here, and luckily the navigation is going to tell me exactly where they are. And we got Whisper following us. Yay. Remember when we stole that little girl's bike? Oh, that was awesome. That's the best thing about this game. All right, how do I get down there really quick? Here we go, here we go, here we go. That is clearly not the way to get down there. Okay. I'll take the main way down. Right here. The stairs. Okay, so there's a guy on board, a fisherman. Hurry, Nate, come on, buddy. There we go. You. Tell me what you know about gin. Excuse me, have you heard of the den of gin? Oh, the den of gin, what's that? We heard it's a we're, we heard it's a rumor going around among y'all fishermen. Ah, uh, yes, there was something talking about that sort of stuff. Really? Ah, uh, what was it again? Some fellow went into a den. Yeah, he came out in a hurry, fell over, and got covered in dirt. I was still half asleep and sort of left it off. That's all I heard, though. Is that the rumor y'all asking about? Yes, sir. Thanks a bunch. Okay, a figure covered in mud. Guess now we know something about someone covered in dirt. Yeah. Be careful not to fall, Abdallah. If you were to head home covered in dirt, your mother would not be happy. <laughs> right. <laughs> your mother would not be happy. Yeah, thanks, Whisper, of course. Your mom. Well, I mean, Nate is a kid. He's in elementary school, so oh, sure, sure. You don't want to get dirty. You don't want to get your pants dirty. Let alone getting your shoes dirty and tracking mud in the house because, you know, us Americans that live in the USA, we don't take our shoes off when we enter our houses. Apparently that's the case. The heck? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what? Oh, need anything? You want a fish too? We're investigating the den of gin. Have you heard anything about it? Oh, I've heard some rumors about that. 
tell us what you know. Sure thing. When walking at night, there's uh, ryth rhythmical music you can hear. When you get close to an entrance uh, with light coming out of it, it appears at your feet. At your feet. Oh, that's new. Okay, strange light from a doorway. I heard if you go in, you can't come out. So if you find it, don't go in. Sure, thanks for the information. We found quite a few clues. Indeed, perhaps we can get closer to some answers. Yeah. Let's head back to Professor Gately. Mm, okay, heading back to Diana. Let's go. Oh, get that guy out of here. No, no siree, Bob. Nuh uh uh. That's not it. Oh, yeah, you wish. Dude, my team's not well equipped to take on Snartle McSnartleson. Oh, no. Right through the gas station. Here we go. We're taking a beeline straight to straight to DG over here. All right, what do you got, DG? If I can call you that. Boy. Professor Gately, we found clues. Nice. What sort of clues have you found? So, fade to black. Explain the situation. Here we go. Okay, I see then. Let's go through the points one by one. First of all, the rumors come from fishermen at North Beach. That gives us an idea about where we should be looking. It's fishermen so along the riverbank? Hmm. Sounds about right. Then we heard that if you fall, you get covered in dirt. The ground's gotta be soil. Somewhere along the riverbank that isn't paved. We're getting closer. We also heard that the entrance emits light and appears at your feet. At your feet, what could that mean? At your feet, the door that rises up from the ground. Ah, could it be a shutter? Indeed. I was about to say the same thing myself. Yo, yo, you guys are on fire. Okay, let's summarize. The Den of Gin is by the river somewhere that isn't paved. And there's a building with shutters. Do we know anywhere like that? Oh, please, there's no way that such a convenient building exists. Sure is. Huh? There should ought to be a warehouse on the west side of North Beach. If it's where I'm thinking, the ground is dirt. Ah, then let's check it out. Go, go, go. <laughs> Starting to sound like Burly over here. Ya yeah, Burly? Ya yeah, Burler? All right, so this is where I was looking for Gately before, and like my subconscious, like my subconscious knew that I had to go here looking for Gately <laughs> when we were looking for Gately in the uh, previous episode. I was like, where the heck is she hiding? Doesn't she have a, a little hideout over here in the dirt area with the garage? I don't know. But anyway, that's exactly where we're going now. So luckily the pointer is showing us the way in case you guys didn't already pick up on that. Or if you guys didn't, pretty much explore this entire town. Diana Gately. Let's go, Gately. All right, all right. Here we are. It is time. <clears throat> this way, Abdallah, quickly. Aww. Diana Gately sure is speedy. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> then we'll be speedy, too. Okay. How did she get there? Dude, Diana Gately is a yokai. This place certainly matches all of the clues. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm getting all excited. Yeah, this could be the Den of Gin. So there's no chance we could pass on this one. There's rumors that if you go in far, you can't come back. Don't worry, if my ideas are correct, then there's a special gate hidden here. It just looks like a normal warehouse. So now what? Huh, never fear, for I have a secret plan. There's going to be a bright light, so close your eyes. Got it. Go, show me your whimsy. Whew, you can open your eyes now. Oh, no way. What in tarnation? Bingo, just like I thought. Now then, shall we go in? We're really going into the den of gin. It'll be fine. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Ah, let's do it. Okay, this is, uh... Oof. I don't know about you guys, but I would totally not go in there. So this is the den of gin. It looks different on the inside. This must be another dimension. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm getting all excited again. I had no idea this sort of place existed. Ain't it amazing, Abdallah? <clears throat> okay. Ladies and gentlemen, come one, come all, but please, no stinkos. The time is now. Welcome to the Pearly Chamber of Whimsy. Uh, was that the Jin's voice? Uh, it's different from what I expected. That pumped up voice really filled the room. How wonderful, I knew I wasn't wrong about this place. 
Yeah, <laughs> way to go, Abdallah. We did it. Abdallah. It's time for a thorough room inspection. Are you saying right. we're not done yet? What? feel like a mister. It's just like, all right, cool. Let's go find Diana Gately's little chamber and explore. Okay. Well, I'll take a doll, please. Thank you very much. That's like 10 bucks. Oh, two of them. Yeah, buddy. Give me that big money. Now we're rolling. All right. So more story unlocked. Excellent. Let's, uh, let's see if we can beat a chapter. Yo, yo. So that's the Den of Gin. Sure is an interesting place. An underground chamber connected to a different dimension. Fancy that. Good thing yours truly happened to receive that update, eh? Speaking of good old things, since you got here, we've been on zombie chases, found dimensional whatnots, and even seen the circus. There's never been a dull moment with you. Same here, hanging out with you is a blast. I'm mighty glad to hear that, Abdallah, because from today, you and I are best buds. Best? Yeah, best buds all the way. Nate may like you, Mac, but I don't like you, Mac. Okay, let's just put that on here. Just, you're not my friend, Mac. Abdallah, if you start calling us aliens, I swear I'm resigning. And since we're now best buds, I reckon it's safe to let you in on my secret. A secret? If you think the Den of Gin is cool, you ain't seen none yet. What? what do you mean? What kind of secret are we talking about? Yeah, <laughs> meet me at the watch shop to find out. Or not. Because I'm hanging out with Diana Gately right here, so you can go hang out in the watch shop. I'm right here. We got this. Now we need to thoroughly investigate this area. Your assistance would be appreciated. Okay, the Pearly Chamber of Whimsy holds many gates. Gather gate gloves and try to open them all. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I got a good, maybe like five. <laughs> Thank you. Let's commence the investigation. First, we need to open this door. Yes, based on my many years of experience, I think that, to open this gate, you need three gate globes. Didn't you get any from Gates of Whimsy? Hmm, let me see. Welcome back to me when you have three gate globes. I say, Abdallah, if you don't have enough gate globes, let's look for some Gates of Whimsy in town. Your yokai watch's radar is able to detect the gate, so keep an eye on it. Got it. Okay. That's easy. Like, we got- I think we have three. Okay, here we go. I think I have some. Ah, you've brought me some gate globes. Use those gate globes on the gate. You see there. And the gate should open. Yeah. Okay, I wonder what it's like inside. Oh my, this is exciting. The rest is up to you. Uh, you're not coming, Professor? Uh, do you... Do you have no sense of responsibility? I'll wait for you out here. Let me know if you make any progress. Uh, I say, Abdallah, what shall we do? Open the gate and go on in? Well, we've come this far. No point in turning back yes. now. Oh my. In that case, use the gate globes. Uh, you have this many gate globes. Seven. Insert three gate globes? Yeah, absolutely. Oh my. You unlock a new gate of whimsy. Yo, my man, listen up. Who's here? <laughs> oh my, it's the Jin's voice again. I've got four buoyant boots for you here in this pearly chamber of whimsy, dog. Yo, dog, pleasure to the max with these upbeat vibes. Yo, we ain't never coming down again, dog. I don't understand a single word. <laughs> oh my, well, translating it roughly. Capture the four buoyant boots and you'll be able to reach the gin. Well, shall we get to it? I wonder what the buoyant boots are like. Anyway, I think it's worth a shot. Yeah, let's. I only have like three more, so I don't know what I'm Oh, sweet. Hook me up. Gate globes in here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I will gladly take a large X-Corp and give that to Jibs. Jin Binion. Anything else over here? Oh, 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 dang. Whoa, check this out. Wow. This is a road. This is a rainbow road. It is a road where you go. All right, so... Oh, oh, oh. Welcome! Whoa, that surprised me. This is uh, Jin's voice. 
This is boy booth number one, whimsical shopping, yo. But yo don't actually have to shop. Just race the cart to the finish line, baby. Woo, you feeling the beat? So give it a go, yo, check it out. I love sh I love racing on shopping carts. Hook it up. Oh yeah, Coco Cow, baby, Coco Cow. Oh man, check this out. Yeah, we made it. Okay. Dang. All right, this is a road. This is a rainbow road. Oh. Dang. Did I do this in Yokai Watch Three? I don't know if I did. Yeah. Slide, power slide off. Dude, this is like Mario Kart. This is a road where you go. Oh my, yeah. Unsheltered. Skill encyclopedia, that's cool. Come on, Unsheltered. I got a rainbow road to race on. Anybody got time for you? And Salty Pecan? Get out of here. Cricket? Cricket? Uh... Boom! Wow, you use that fire, use that fire move on him. That's a bad idea. <clears throat> Yo, he's about to burn us with that salt. Cricket? Can we beat the egg up? Beat the bacon. Are you Hard boiled. He came right back. What? <laughs> what? It's like bacon and eggs. What? This is legit bacon and eggs right now. Pear fruit bread. I got some bread. Do it. I don't think I have any bread. No, I don't have any bread. That's sandwich. Sorry. <laughs> Hard boiled is a pretty cool skill. You just come right back. That's it. That's really awesome. I like Yolk Guy. Yolk Guy is good. Okay, we got a blueberry bagel and we got crispy bacon pizza. Yummy. Oh, we got another salty bacon? Yeah, sure. Why the heck? That's soul fodder. What were, what were his names again? Crispa, Rasher, Salton, Biggs. Ah, he's just so upset. All right, well I lost my cart, so I gotta go back. So see ya. I took a wrong turn. All right, here we go. This is a road. This is a rainbow road. Yahoo! Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Right, right. Yahoo! All right, so there's another Yolkman down here. Ooh, I gotta get that. You know what? One does not simply walk past this. Come here. Guard gloriously. That's really good. See you later, Salty Pecan. Oh yeah, that power slide. We already have things in our shopping cart. How is that possible? <laughs> like, we just pulled the shopping cart out of the cart corral. Oh no, we're picking stuff up as we're going. I see that, never mind. I see, I saw the Kleenex, the tissue box just randomly fall into there. Okay, so what am I doing here? Oh, I'm not, oh, I'm gonna either fall and get that item right there. It could be like a, a good item. Oh, what a waste! What a straight up waste. Dang it, Bobby. All right, whatever, we'll, we'll get it. Yeah. Okay, here we go. It goes quick. It goes quick. We got this. We're legitimately shopping somehow. Yay! All right, ready. We Nintendo we All right, let's go. We're just filling up. I got to get that thing. Rather than just thinking twice about it, just go get it. You don't you never know what's going to be in there, and we might as well pick it up. We Sorry, unsheltered. I'm not here for a fight. But I am here for Buy Little Angel. Oh, that's lame. It's just an attitude adjustment book. Stop it, kid. Yeah, juked him out. See ya, kid. <laughs> See ya, you egg. You yolk guy. I love yolk guy, guys. 
Yokai's my favorite yokai. Okay. All right, there's some avocado samples. It's like we're inside the uh, the supermarket, the Phantom Art. I love the Phantom Art. That's a huge little pun play on words. Phantom and a mart. <clears throat> the Phantom Art. All right, so now that we've gotten everything there is to get in here, a 100% walkthrough. We're gonna skate on down. Yeah, boy! Dang, dude, that was awesome. You guys see that? All right, well, we got we went shopping, so let's let's go. <laughs> we filled up the cart, but we don't get that stuff. Mama! Auntie Heart! Mama Aura! <laughs> oh, Ma, you made it all the way here. You've done so well. If you win against me, you'll clear this buoyant booth. Might I ask if you're ready to fight? Uh, I got, like, an X-Borb, don't I? I'm not ready to fight yet. Not just yet. I, I, I picked up an X-Borb. I might as well give it to Jibs. Good. Okay, that leveled me up a little bit. Do I have another, uh, a series like top techniques? I think we're good. Yeah, let's fight. Okay, Mama Aura. Fight me. Okay, battle is serious business, you know. You don't expect me to go easy on you. A bunch of healer yokai? I hope it's just her. If Papa Bolt is there, or Uncle Infinite, whatever, that's gonna stink. But, uh, let's see some prep. You cannot be befriended. Okay, so it looks like, uh, that that's going to be it. Alright, pause the fury. Go, get her. Yo, we just juked her out. Now she's gonna get that cooldown and get burnt. Lion Quest. Flaming Fluency. Get her. Boom, Burna for 76 damage. That's good. Oh, so what's she gonna do? Heal herself? You're done. You're done already. Paradise? Oh my gosh, 48. Keep going, guys. We need three offensive attackers right here, all in the row. Get the combos going. Boom, KO. What do you got? Paradise? Alright, we'll be here for days if you don't start doing something. Maybe I should go full offensive. Come on, Kitty Lumbus. Come on out, my friend. Calling Kitty Lumbus. It's cool. Okay. We got some BBQ bucks. Now, auto befriend. Yay, that's the first buoyant booth cleared then. Oh my, what a disorienting experience. But it was really good fun. I say let's keep up our momentum and move on to the next one. I don't have enough gate globes, but that was pretty cool. Thanks for fighting, Mama Aura. Oh my goodness, I say you're quite worthy. Go on ahead, my sweet. Yep. Oh, great. Oh, and an exit. Beautifully done. Thank you. I was about to say, like, I don't have enough, so get me out of here. You cleared whimsical shopping. Good going, yo. That's a present for me, baby. Go through here and you can exit without going through the buoyant booth, yo. Oh, so-called shortcut, I believe. That's helpful. Keep going like that, yo. All right, well, I don't have ten. I've got four. So, we won't be able to do the next one. But that's okay. You know what? Now we got a little taste. We got a little taste of what's to come. Let's see if we can go this way and kind of explore some more. Oh my gosh, is that the Typhoon guy? Yeah, he was like the secret boss in Yokai Watch 2. I remember that. He's there. You can see him in the background. Top techniques. It's wonderful. That's a wonderful gift. Uh, I don't know if there's anything I could do in this area. No, there isn't. So this is kind of like a dead end. But if I have 10, I got two areas that we can explore. Dude, like this is really good. I want to just like spend all day grinding gate globes. All right, anyway. We got some more work to do, guys. We got some more work. So let's do that. Uh, Gately, what are we doing? Head into the depths of the pearly chamber? No thanks, we got some story stuff. Oh, Kid wanted me to meet him at the watch shop, right? Do 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 no, 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 no. The story continues, follow the red arrow. I don't know where the red arrow is. Oh, there it is, I gotta go to the watch shop. We don't have access to Mirapo in this area, do we? No, we just got bike. We're just gonna bike it there. Ooh, gone. Here we go. All 
All right, we got to go talk to Mac. Mac's probably going to say, hey, dude, you want to uh, get your watch rank upgraded? You done did it. You're here. I love Mac's accent, man. Oh, my gosh. Get, get, get a whimsy. No, it's just a Yolkman. Who's this? Oh, Irewig. Irewig? What's this guy doing here? What are you doing here, you bony spirit? Kerr, I can't believe I've been found by some foolish human. I'm angry, but wasting my energy battling would be equally annoying. Yeah, I don't care. Take this. Just give me a star burger. All right, well, it's cool. Thanks for the burger, bud. Okay, so we are uh, gonna go around the school. We're gonna make our way to the watch shop. Whisper's following us. I don't know if Whisper is gonna be uh, an actual fightable yokai in this game. Like, you can fight with him. That'd be pretty awesome. I mean, we could play as him in Blasters, which is awesome, but we'll see. No spoilers. Okay, Watch Shop is straight down here in East Pine. And Mac should be inside. Or right outside. Hey, Hi. bud. Well, here I am, Buck. Hi. That's you all right, then. I'll guide you to the secret location. Yay. Awesome, I hope it would. I hope it has snacks. <laughs> Just follow my lead. Yo, you're fast, kid, but I'm faster. Hold on. Pest quest. Oh, wow, that got a new cover, huh? Wee, you're very fast, dude. Wee, I thought you were faster, man. Welcome to East Cashew. Oh, I see an item up there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's easy. I can get it right now. It's gonna be like some bait or something. The purple ones are trash. Yeah, the purple ones aren't even worth your time. Yellow ones, yeah, maybe, but the rest, not so much. Okay, so you're showing me this parking lot. Okay, you're taking this. Oh, you're gonna take me to the church, huh? We Hold on. No! You feel a yokai's aura nearby. No, I don't want... Who is it? Hold on, that's high fiver. Don't I... Do I have high five? No, forget you. I don't need them. It's a waste of time. Need these yokai yet? Dude, I just want the item on the ground. Thank you. It's a bronze doll. That's worth a couple bucks. I'm fine with that. Come on, Mac. Man, I'll show you where to go. Get over here. Oh, he's not... I can't lead the way. I have to, like, bump into him. Mac. We. His name's Buck, by the way. He'll, he'll, he'll just follow my lead. I'm right here, dude. Are we done? Howdy. What? Are we going in here? What, uh, what the heck? Oh! And Tomyon's gonna be over here, right? Oh, it seems we meet again. What are you kids up to this time? What? Uh, taking a historic scenic walk is all. And this neck of the woods, suspicious. Do you want to hear what I think? Nobody does, Blunder. And this is neither the time nor the place for that. If that guy were to find these kids, you know what would happen. Ah, oh, Folly, you worry too much. That guy isn't stupid enough to try getting innocent kids involved. And besides, I was going to ask them something completely different. They still wouldn't know anything. Stop fooling around. This is serious. A serious mess, it looks like. What exactly is going on here? I have no clue. I'm going on ahead. Take care, kids. Oh. Shucks, here we go again. Hey, Folly, wait up. Say what? Ah, so long, nitwits. I don't know what's going on there, but... Uh, good thing they didn't find us out. Uh, is that why you told them that junk about historic scenic walk? Sure enough, I don't, I don't want anyone else finding what I'm fixing to show you. Especially no snooping grown-ups. Promise you won't tell? But promise. Alright, wasn't Tom Yun over here? Alright, let's go. Hold on, hold on. A dancing star. Yeah, I remember this. Here's the eye pole. Yep, yep, let's get a quick heal. Thank you. Alright, we got an eye pole for days. Oop. Oh, it's a blue thing. Hold on. What's blue? Oh, okay. So we got a map. Nice. We found a map right over here. Cool. Oh. A rainbow ring. Oh. Dang, dude. And a silver doll. My goodness. We're finding all sorts of treasure on the ground. And a medium x -word. That's great. 
Oh, and there he is. There's my boy. I knew he'd be here. What's up, my little man? Uh, Tamyon? Dude, if it ain't you, Abdallah, I thought I'd run into you here. Chilling out on a meowsy day. Just got my remedy for you today, dudes. Yes. Remedy? Yes, sir. Introducing the hamburger, meow. None quite like that thick, juicy burger sandwich between white, fluffy buns. I bet meow never saw anything as dudesome as this before. Did y'all? Uh, yeah, I've seen a hamburger before. Meowly? Yeah. <laughs> Guess he's never experienced the wonders of non-burger before then. Well, I'll be. Show me what you call a hamburger then. Go on, give me one. Huh? I mean, one of them non-burgers or whatever you dudes call them. Thank you kindly, Meow. I thought he was meant to show his BBQ cuisine, not the other way around. So you can't do anything with, um, with him right over here because you don't have a hamburger. Like, the only hamburgers, at least from what I know, is just Star Burgers. The normal size burger and barbecue. Twice the norm elsewhere. So we can't show him that, because we need a hamburger from Springdale. So, non-burger. Oh, and it's a non-burger. Yeah, so I can't do anything right now. He's just kind of stuck. So we can't continue his little quest, unfortunately. Wah, wah. Oh, ta-da! What do you think? Wow, is this our very own secret base? I found it purely by chance when I was exploring around these parts. It was a shabby, piddly old shack until I done fixed it up. It took a lot of spit and polish, but I reckon y'all find it cozy. Whoa, you really outdid yourself, Buck. Yuh, yuh, yuh. Don't you go telling anyone now. It's a promise between men. Got it, I won't tell a soul. That reminds me. Abdallah's grandpa built something like this, didn't he? He did indeed. Secret bases always seem to have an appeal, no matter what time period. See a little throwback to Yokai Watch 2? I like that. Good job. Alright, so, feel like taking the grand tour of the inside? You bet. Looks pretty good. I don't see why not. Head into the depths of Pearly Chamber. No, how about I just do this? Da, 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 da. Amazing. You've got so much stuff in here. It's uh, this pretty bottle I done fished out of the river. And somebody dumped this here barrel, so I brought it back to the base. Uh-huh. And what's this white thing? That'd be the shed skin of a snake. A snake. Kill, kill, kill. I done found it in the forest near here. But I didn't bring y'all here just to show this place off. See, I have me a great and glorious and grand grandois plan in mind. I don't know how he's going to pronounce that. A plan? What kind of plan? You see in a minute. Come on over here to the river. So this is like the exact same thing as uh, like your grandfather's. And you can go climb up top and then there's going to be a little lookout. Hey, that's pretty cool. That's really cool. Alright. Uh, anything else over here that I need to know about? No, I don't. I just jumped right the heck off. All right, so don't say hi to Tom Yan. So, Abdallah, have you worked it out yet? Um, oh, I got it. You got plans to go fishing. Oh, boy, you're thinking small. See, this here's my harbor. What? Well, you don't even have a boat. Hence the plan. We're going to build them with our own hands. We are? Uh, how exactly? Well, uh, I don't rightly know myself. Uh, I've never done built one before. Maybe we can ask some of the local fishermen to help us. What? No siree. That'd be getting grown-ups involved, and we can't let them know about this. All oh, right. But even so, that's not exactly the worst idea in the world. Only instead of the local fishermen, we try North Beach's boat shop. Let's go there and search for intel. Yeah. Okay. All right. I gotta get rid of this quest. It's kind of bothering me. Isn't there a Gately quest over here? Okay, so now we're gonna do, there we go. Research the b boat building of the boat shop. That'll be a little bit better for us to look around in. All right, so pretty cool, huh? So uh, your boy Buck came on board, he came through, and he got us some pretty cool stuff. There's a little secret area here. Oh, oh, hmm, yep, yep. I won't spoil what we're gonna have to do in order to break that. We may need a hidden machine. <laughs> rid of those rocks. I hope some of you guys caught the reference there. All right, well, we are gonna go to the boat shop and hopefully get ourselves uh, some sort of boat that we can head on down the river. 
But seriously, if you have a friend that says, uh, you know, oh no, we can't get our parents involved or something along those lines, just kind of think about, think long and hard about if what you're doing is the right thing. If your friend wants to keep it a secret from the adults. <laughs> yeah. Want to try some here medicine that I got? It'll make you feel really good. <laughs> oh gosh. I will never live that down. That was the best bizarre room I've ever seen in my life. And what did he say about pasta? Wait, what? Like, come on, man. I think I checked out right. If an old dude and old stranger's offering you pasta and, na and medicine? No. <laughs> come on, give me some gates of whimsy, man. I need more gate globes. Okay, here's the boat shop. Let's go on in. Okay, hey dude, what's up? We're actually not here to see you, but we're here to take a look at some supplies. Hi, Abdallah. Your job is to keep a lookout. A uh, lookout? Why? What exactly are you gonna do? Shucks, don't go worrying. I'm not gonna take anything. I just need a quick read through. Let me know if someone's coming. Oh, okay. This shelf. Should have it. No? Okay, maybe this one. Here we are. Let's see. Uh-huh. If we do it like this, we should be able to pull it off. Hey, Buck, are you done yet? Hold on. Hmm. So if we get that... Ugh. Why does the manager have to yell at me like that? Making me go up all this way and find some spare oars? Watch out. Someone's coming. All right. So it's that kind of thing. Hold up. Hey, you kids, what are y'all doing up here? Uh, Abdallah, run for it. The heck? <laughs> yeah, yeah, close one. A little too close for my liking. But thanks to that, I now know what we need for that for our raft. A raft? Yes siree, if we're gonna build a boat, then it's gotta be a raft. A raft, do you think we can do it? As homemade vessels go, it seems quite the sensible choice. It's gotta be homemade. Won't be no fun if it wasn't. Let's head back to the secret base so I can brief y'all on the materials we need. Can you just show us the book with the list of the materials? No can do, I done left it on the shelf. I told y'all I wasn't gonna take anything, stealing is just not cool. I remember all we need to know, so let's head back and strategize. Okay, well that was interesting. We stole, we stole knowledge, guys. And that is also a form of stealing, dude. Like if you go into a bookstore and you start reading magazines, that's straight up stealing, dudes. So Buck, yeah, you are kind of a thief because you stole all the information that you needed without having to buy the book. So ladies and gentlemen, another life lesson with Abdallah here. Just buy the book. Just buy the magazine. Don't steal stuff. You stealers, you little thieves. Don't be like Buck. He's like the worst example for a kid. <laughs> Don't make friends with me, Buck. Everything that he stands for is like the worst. He's the worst example of a friend that your kids should ever have. Sneaking out at night. All that stuff. Stealing information. Building rafts. Putting you in danger. Come on, man. And you guys wonder why I don't like Mac. This is the reason why I don't like Mac. But I get his character. His character's fine. Alright, let's strategize at home base before it gets too dark. Oh no, we gotta go by the raft here. Wait, wait, what are we doing? I'm sorry. Oh, I couldn't go on there with a bike? Mm, okay. Alright, time to strategize. Alright, let's begin our top secret strategy meet. Yes sirree. First thing we need to do with building a raft is gather materials. For the raft's main body, we'll need a sturdy log. And to hold the sail up, we'll need a firm branch. And we can't forget the ore. A rough splinter should do. Where are you going to get all these logs and branches from? 
If we go deep into Gloom Bell Forest, we should probably find them all. Oh, and while we're there, we should also get some fruit from the forest. Can't travel on an empty stomach. Oh, fruit? If we need food, we can't we just go get something from a store? Don't you get it? We're meant to go off on a great raft and adventure. It's no adventure if we just go from, get something from the store. We gotta stick with the thing. Well, if you insist. Who knew adventuring would be so strict? All right then, let's head on over to Gloombell Forest. Okay, gather raft parts from the forest. I don't like the sound of this. The forest was scary. If I remember from years ago, there was a scary thing happening inside the forest, but we'll figure it out. We always do. Choco bar, good, good, need that. They're prepping us up for a potential yokai we can befriend. Ooh, no spoilers. <sighs> scary. This was legit scary. Sure is a mighty big forest. Someone needs to leave a trail of breadcrumbs so we don't get lost. I reckon we should find all the materials we need here. Did you remember what we needed to get? Let me think, a sturdy log, a firm branch, and then uh, a rough splinter. Don't forget the fruit. Yo, 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 that's everything. Okay then, let's get to searching. Yeah. Okay, well. Uh... It's kind of scaring me. Oh, what in the world? Apple. What? I need to know your name. What's your name? Apple log arrow head? You okay? Cider. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. It's cider like apple cider, but like he's silly because he's firing arrows at his head. Sigh. Ugh. Like a sigh and then dir. It's like, ugh, hello. <laughs> that's, that's so clever. You have no idea how clever that is. All right. Uh, I need to take a look at these guys first. Cider likes veggies. Oh, dude, I'm made of veggies. Come here. Have some corn on the... No, use it. Have an avocado. That's a little bit more expensive. Alright, so we got cider. Bullseye! And then I'll give a cucumber just in case. Like, I, I'm made out of veggies. I'm like Veggie Tales over here. Oh, come on, guys. Give me a cider. I hooked you up in the with an avocado. And that's expensive, that's like three dollars. Oh my gosh, we don't have a popularity yokai, what am I expecting? All right, well, I'm gonna go possibly not get another cider, but I remember there was a, a certain yawn over here. Howdy. Say, this is a pretty branch right here, we can use it to hold up the sail. All right, this talk of sails makes me feel like a bit like a pirate. <laughs> Should I get you an eye patch then? So we got a firm branch, great. Okay, and some weird, uh, oh, bad boy, uh, whoa, hold on, you unbelievable boy is just chilling? This isn't bad boy, uh, that's, uh, that's you believe a boy, and Cider is back, all right, well, I want a you believe a boy, he's an E-rank, what, that's trash, I thought he was better than that, uh, I thought we had snacks, I got some of these, caramel peanuts is not a snack, I don't know what it is, actually, I don't have, like, a bag of chips, whatever, throw the, Throw the caramel peanuts. Whoever catches it, you can have it. I need all you guys anyway. Alright. That was good. You believe a boy like that. Cool, cool. So we're gonna eliminate everyone else besides you believe a boy in case a wisp comes, but these are just e rings Bad boy is... We already have this guy. Um, whatever the heck his name is. His name is New Yokai. Wrestler yokai. His name is Augusto. Your big hit on Lion Chris. We good here? Oh. Yeah, defense down was great. That worked out. All right, so give me, uh, give me Bad Boya. Uh. I swear, if that's not one of his nicknames. You. Yeah, oh, come on. Doing, El Gusto. El Gutso. El Gut. I'm sorry, El Gutso, not Gusto. My bad. El Gutso. All right, well, El Gutso. Ridley, Leo, Frankie, and Giuseppe. Yeah, you know what? I think uh, I think I'm having flashbacks that we've read all those before. How do I not have him? I could have sworn I had him. Maybe on Haley side. All right, whatever. El Gutso. Uh, you believe a boy was there? 
Unbelievable Boy, whatever his name is. And um, yeah, so let's grab some stuff. Holy Minochi, what are you doing here? Mochi. Huh? I don't usually get visitors, especially not human visitors. Hmm, you're a human of the Springdale variety, are you? Oh, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, Springdale brings back memories. That's where I'm from, too. Are you? Cool. Indeed, I've come to BBQ on kind of a pilgrimage of power, so to speak. A pilgrimage of power. I think he means training. That's right. Why don't I show you exactly how strong I've become? Uh, I think we get the general idea. Thank you. My biceps are really cool, so make sure you take a good look at them. He's not listening. Boom. Oh, hey, there's a piece of fruit. Ah, something fell down. If I give it a good punch, things fall from trees. Really? What is it? Green mango. Okay, that's... No one likes green mangoes. They gotta get ripe. Uh, anyway, uh, we got something good. Yeah, we did. One more time, one more time, please. I can't do that often. Good punches wear me out. But if you bring me something to give me more stamina, I'll do it whatever. I'm always making my training. It's the perfect... Making the perfect muscles. Yeah, I got stamina. Here, let's go. Hey, did you bring... Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you got? Uh, you can have an oddball toadstool. No, here, take a, take a stamina. What do you got? You don't seem to have anything for him. Cheer up and let's do this over. I just had a stamina. Don't I have one? Here, take a stamina alpha. Whatever. I was going to sell it for 10 bucks. Okay, so I don't have that either. Did I sell all of mine? Dang, I did. Here, oddball toadstool. No, I don't have that either. Okay. Why is it even an option if I don't have it in my inventory? All right, whatever. All right, so that is another little dude, and we can't really... Oh my gosh, no, 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 I'm not about to do that. At least not yet. Do, 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 do. Hey, yo, uh, Knuckle Joe. What's this guy? Rocky Bad Boya. <laughs> oh my gosh, so... Unbelievable. His Japanese name was Bad Boya. Rocky Bad Boya. That's awesome. That's a very clever name. That's so good. I couldn't even think of that. Rocky Balboa, like Rocky, Sylvester Stallone. Huh, huh. What are you guys up to? I'm in the middle of training. Don't you get in my way. Training? What are you what training are you doing? Boxing training so I can be the champion. Hey, Bad Boya. No slacking. Patch. Uh, he's a bit small. Bad Boya. One, two, punch. Show me your best punch. Got it, Patch. All right, here I go. Ah, something dropped down. I wonder what. More mangoes. Okay. All right, we got something good. Ha ha ha, that's good. What's wrong, bad boy? Are you already done? I put all that power into my punch. Patch, I'm out of energy. If I could take something to give me energy, I might be able to do it again. I see. If we bring you that, will you do your best to punch again? Yeah, no problem. But maybe Yokai's going to fall down next. Maybe we'll fight him. Ah, uh, surely not. Nothing like that happen. I hope you're right. See you later. Yes, sir. That should be enough to keep us going. All right, now we don't have to worry about going hungry. So we just need the, uh, the, the, the oars, the paddles? What are we doing here? Oh, there's something in like the hidden portion of the forest. Oh my gosh. Hey, what's this? Oh, that's the, the royalty. Um, uh, something punny with the name, fish. We saw them in the, in the thing. Celebrity, yeah, yeah, celebrity. Yeah, let's, let's go. Celebrity likes, let's target you. You like tempura. Okay, okay, let's do a little bit of tempura. I got, oh man, I got sushi. Dang. And you believe a boy likes caramel peanuts. Here, take it. Or someone likes the caramel peanuts. Whoever wants it, you can have it. You believe a boy. Okay, now beat them all up. I mean, these guys are super easy. Fish is gone. Oh, gutso. Come on, Captain Underpants. Didn't even have to move. He was about to bust out his soul to move, too. Okay. You believable. Caramel peanuts. We got him back. And we didn't get a bad boy, uh. Dang it. All right, here we go. It's scary. We're going into the darkness now. And this is like not something where you can easily see your way through. There we go. Hey Buck, do you think this log will do? Uh-huh, looks fine for a raft body. So we got a sturdy log. Hmm. hmm. We still haven't found a rough splinter anywhere. Oh. Uh, you think we would in a forest. But none of these wretched twigs seem suitable for an ore. 
Looks like we got no choice but to delve deeper into the forest. Deeper? It's creepy down there, and there's a fog, and it's creepy. We'll be alright. We made it this far, didn't we? Right you are. There's a bridge up north. We can cross the river from there. Okay. I'm not liking this idea at all. Mac, you're a bad influence on us. Telling us to explore deep into the forest. Okay. Okay, let's go look for that last material. Alright. Don't move. What is it? Shh, get on over here, quickly. Look over there. <gasps> that dude. Ouch. Just our luck, why'd that guy have to show his face here? Puck, who is that guy? I done seen him before in this forest. At first I didn't see his face, so I tried to hollering at him. But then suddenly he comes chasing after me with his incredibly freaky face. I managed to escape him, but that guy, he's bad news. So what do we do? I propose we make a hasty retreat. But if we do that, then we won't have all the materials we need. If we're careful, he shouldn't be able to spot us. Not in this fog. Whatever you do, don't let him see you. Okay. Um... Is that him? Oh, that's the- oh gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, just don't let him see you. And this part was like really annoying too, because like you had to- you have to look really closely at the bottom screen and you can see where to move. So forgive me for looking directly at this. Hmm, nothing there. Okay, I'm gonna go around to the bottom portion. Yep, it seems this way is the way through. But this guy's guarding it hardcore. Holy moly, that's scary. If he turns around suddenly, it's over. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I should hide behind this tree. I need to memorize his patterns more. Oh my gosh! Oh, so scary. Okay, there's an IPO over here for good measure. Oh gosh, is this a trap? No, 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 we gotta kinda look. Went through here. Yeah, it's so like circuitous. You gotta go around it. Okay, here's an IPO. Let's uh, recover and then we got our thing. Oh my gosh, wow. Uh, do you think we can use this for an ore? You reckon uh, you found a good one? I think so. It looks suitable, doesn't it? Oh, yes, sir. This is, uh, this is ship shape eye. Woohoo, now we can build our raft. Uh, you idiot! You gotta keep your voice down, or or oh crud! You wait. Good grief, Abdallah! That was the very definition of carelessness. Bit excessive. Agent X, I've been expecting you. Whoa! Ah! Whoa. Darn it all! Who were trapped? What in tarnation do we do now? Abdallah, that nyasi nyo good guy is a yokai. Wait, what? Oh, you're right. Wait, so what? That doesn't change a thing. Enough exclaiming. Time to make an example of you all. Abdallah, we got no choice but to fight him. Okay. Okay. I don't remember if there's like an auto you automatically lose. 
Agent X, he's weak against ice. I don't have any icers. Uh, so, that being said, let's just do our best. Boom, Lion Quest, take that big hit. Thanks, buddy. Who? Oh, Kitty Lumbus has been captured. What? How does this? I don't remember this. Oh, I KO'd my own Kitty Lumbus. Oh, that's very bad. Dude, he took my guy and I burned him 75 damage to KO him. That's stunned. I'm not gonna use any ultimates because I'm just gonna burn my buddies. Exceptional hate. He's done anyway, it's not really that hard. Experience. Yeah, oh, ultimate. Lame. Here to help, what do you got? What do you got? A gun? Shoot him! Shoot him or what? Force Blaster GX Fire. Wow, that did so much work. You're not done, are we? That's not even his final form. Oh my gosh, ready to go. Boom! Big miss, though. Not too bad. What happened? Um. This guy's. W I could have taken him. No, I could have taken him. He missed one of my yokai and only did like a chip damage. I won't give up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pause of fury. Ooh. Yowch. Jibanya, no, no. What do we do? You human boy. Oh, use this. This is a new yokai watch. The yokai watch dream. Yokai watch dream. You receive the yokai dream link item, yokai blaster. Okay, so we got the Yokai Watch Dream. Uh, that's my favorite Yokai Watch of all the Yokai Watches in existence. This one right here. Including the next generation of Yokai Watch, the Yokai Watch Dream. The Yokai Watch Dream is equipped with the revolutionary Dream Link feature. The Yokai Watch Dream is compatible with a variety of Dream Link items. Dream Link with the Yokai Blaster and take part in the battle. If you were to use that, you could fight alongside your Yokai friends. It'll give you the power to defeat him. Fight alongside? All right. Yokai Watch Dream. <laughs> what extreme futility. This is cool. Why don't we have this yet? The executor. Exe the executor? <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> the executor. <laughs> what game are we playing here? 
Uh, let's go again. Presenting an all-new Dream Link item, the Yokai Blaster. To use the Yokai Blaster, just tap the blaster icon in battle. To start up the Yokai Blaster, equip the metal of a sub Yokai. Okay, uh, your Yokai Blaster's ammunition depends on the tribe of the metal inserted. Okay, after inserting a metal, the blaster's mode will be determined by a spinner. Foe mode hurts enemies, and friend mode makes it easier to befriend Yokai. Once the mode is decided, you can fire. You can uh, start shooting down your foe's metal. Okay, if the foe can't be befriended by the blaster, it goes into foe mode by default. Alright, well, let's just click blaster. Uh, go Kitty Lumbus. Charming. Oh, I remember this! It's coming back to me! And you just fill it up for max damage. Oh, uh, Intune's down? Excuse me? What just happened? Well, there goes my healer. I don't know I've got these targets on my uh, Jibanyan here. Great, I'm just gonna eat that now because I just moved this guy prematurely. Explosive. Oh, good miss. Not bad. Boom! Wow, he's gone. Come on, Salty Bacon. Oh, because I had to walk, I walked through that. Wow, okay. Give me some high damage roll. Nice! Good job, Salty Bacon! I was about to... Whew. I didn't want to start using, like, recovery items. I think I, I felt I could have done it without Intune. And we did! That was cool! That was really cool! 470 experience points? Wow, way to go, team! Everyone did their job. Hidden hits? I will take that gladly. Ah, this is excruciating. I guess I'll have to exit for now. <laughs> we did it. We got rid of him. Guess you can say we expelled him. Well, the Yokai Watch Dream, it's incredible. It's the first I've heard of it. When did they make a new model? No word was ever made about this fabulous new development. What gives? Why not ask the guy who gave it to us? Yeah. I don't know who he is, but I've got to thank him for helping us. Huh? What the? Hmm. That guy in the hood seems to have gone and skedaddled. Uh -huh. That cannot be. He just left, but I had so much to ask him. 
For instance, is it really okay for me to just have this? Why give something so awesome to me? If he didn't ask for it back, then I reckon he's happy you keep it. More importantly, we now have everything we need to build our raft. Let's get all these materials back yeah. to the secret base. You're right, let's head back. Oh boy. Oh man. Here we go. So that was cool. We got all of our yokai healed up. Everyone did a really good job. At least I felt so. Intune got owned at the beginning, so that was also a thing. So Intune is like a glass, like a piece of glass. Like you just look at it one way and its defense is gone. So anyway, we are going to navigate our way out of here. There's no way that I can cut across this way, maybe? I mean, I could. But there's really nothing over here yet. Okay, so we're just going to make our way up north. And this is really all about just following the bottom screen. So as you guys see that, you want to be able to, yeah, do that. And then, of course, you've got two different characters that you can use stamina on, and then they drop some yokai off the trees, which is kind of interesting. I'm still wondering. I gotta go watch my old Let's Play. But I gotta go watch my old Let's Play to see how we get another secret yokai in this forest. I don't remember what part of the Let's Play I was able to get it, but I, still, I remember it was one of my favorite collaboration yokai ever in the world. So, yeah. Excited about that. Okay, so now that we're out of here... We can go to our little secret base, make a raft, and then I don't know if that's going to be the end of the chapter, but we're already an hour and ten minutes into this, and uh, we might as well find a spot to save. Okay. Well, despite the, our best efforts of random creepy dudes, we got all the stuff. I reckon we did. Let's just give it a quick check to be sure. Roger. You gave Buck the raft parts and food. Hi. Ah, it seems we're good to go. Time to build us a raft. Aye, aye. Howdy. Make sure them logs are rigged right. We're sunk without a solid. Uh, we're sunk without a solid yeah. foundation. You got it. Yeah. yeah, keep up the good work, you two. He's just sleeping while everyone's doing all that work. There we go, Buck is making that ore. Look at this awesome raft. Almost there. I can already feel the river current. Uh, you uh, you guys don't mind if I take a quick lunch break. Uh. Hey, Giovanna, no, those are for later. Unless you want us to go all the way back to the darn forest for more. Oh, got it, I'll wait. All we need to do now is raise the sail and our raft is complete. Whoa. Booyah! Abdallah and Buck's raft is complete. <laughs> Pretty good if I do say so myself. So what are we waiting for? Let's ride. Yeah, right, time to begin our great adventure. Raft? <laughs> ride the raft down river. Okay, you know what? I think we're good. I think we're good for the episode. Uh, we had a very eventful episode today. This chapter is a long one, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to go save the game, and we will see you on the next one. Don't you worry about it. I don't want to make the episodes an hour and a half to two hours. No, we're not going to do that. We'll break it up a little bit. But I'm having a great time, and I hope you guys are too. So right over here, answer the comment question today. Uh, who's your favorite popularity yokai? And let me know why. That was just based off our previous episode. And I love hearing about it. Schmoopy, Pinky Poo, Cupistall, Casanova, Dan Doodle. And I'm pretty sure there's some American popularity yokai that I haven't seen yet. So looking forward to that. Uh, all of you guys, uh, make sure that you guys are all subscribed. Right? You guys click on that. You're all ready to go, right? You guys do that. It's simple. But anyway, you guys are so awesome. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching and supporting Yokai Watch as a franchise in general. One day we may get the Yokai Watch dream. Who knows? I'm hoping, man. I'm really hoping. I miss that. I miss that a lot. So, anyway. If you guys have some more time today, newest video on the channel right there. Watch the playlist. Get caught up on the previous episodes. Recommendations that way. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. And uh, you'll be alerted of the latest and greatest Yokai Watch content. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.